Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to The What Life. So this evening we have a crit race, which is part of the Z Racing monthly series, and I'm actually very excited for it, even though this race did not go in all that well for me. There were a few things that went well and a few things that went absolutely terribly. Let's dive into the action. Let's roll. So we're back to the Zwift monthlies, which for me has been like a breath of fresh air. I love the Zwift monthly racing. Everything, you know, all the races are 35, 40 minutes. You kind of know what you get. They're all scratch races, part of a four week series. So the Monday night primetime race was an absolute rocket of a race. Like um, six loops up on the, Gra the Glasgow crit circuit. Now it's reversed. I've never done it reversed. So this was my first chance or my first time doing this as a reversed course so let me give you the stats on the course itself 19.2 kilometers which is 11.4 miles as I said six loops 198 meters of climbing I think we were kind of like due for I want to say like 20 28 minutes kind of that kind of time that's how long it was going to take us like roughly I found this race incredibly hard, in part because I'd, I'd been out earlier in the day and I'd, I'd done a bunch of kind of volume miles. I think it was like 12 miles or so running. So my legs were, were struggling a little bit. So this was probably the last thing I needed, but I do absolutely love this Glasgow crit course. So the things that go badly is I end up dropping off the front group on cap B. It was just like lightning quick. Uh, people were hammering. You know, the, the nice thing about the Glasgow crit course is because there's variation in the terrain, which you'll see in a second as you get the Clyde kicker. Um, well, I mean, you get Clyde kicker reversed. So you get the whatever the run up is to the top of the Clyde kicker. You get two power ups, which I think is the feather and the arrow. Both became like both came in super handy for this event. Like, all in all, I think you know as as a spicy race, this kind of course has absolutely everything. Those little power sections where you have to really drop the watts to stay with the group. Um, you know, it's it, it's just like such a good course to do a crit race on because it breaks the group up, and you'll see that like as we see now, top right mini map group is stretching out a little bit. It was, it's kind of carnage, which I really enjoyed, even though it was kind of like to my detriment because I ended up falling, falling off the group uh, on lap three of six or finishing lap three of six. So the things that go badly, obviously, as I said, I end up falling off the group a little bit, you know, of fatigue, I would imagine, from, from doing a run session earlier in the day. But the thing that does go well, guys, is I pick up the sprint segment out of the, out of the whole race, out of 100 riders. So... I don't know how that happened. I don't. You know, I didn't do it intentionally. I think I was probably just trying to like work my way up through the group, and I happened to kind of put the effort in at the right time. But still, out of 100 riders to to pick up the the sprint jersey or the segment sprint segment jersey, I was actually kind of really quite happy with that. And I will I will that will be a good takeaway for me. So obviously, my short term watts are, are not too shoddy, and they're kind of that kind of side of things going pretty well. I guess there's, if you look at this course, you know, as I said, six loops, there's kind of two sides to it. There's the side where you, you get like these these kickers and the little hills and the little short punches. And they, they don't last too long, 25 seconds maybe. Just absolute hammer fest, little kind of punch up the hills. And then it kind of cools off towards the back side of the course, which is actually where the start finishes. So on the last lap, that's obviously gonna change because you will get the kickers on one side and then by the time you come off those, you end up having to work hard on the last lap as you come into that finish stretch. Okay, my numbers for the race, let me see if I can dig them out for you. Gosh, I did not do terribly well. Yeah, finish it in you know, like 26 minutes, holding 3.6 watts per kg which I'm not not too ashamed of. Holding 272 watts, normalized to 292, obviously given because there's a few hills. Now, all in all, in terms of numbers for me personally, if I was, if I was to kind of look at that, I think obviously my numbers drop off quite a lot because when I lose the front group on lap three, I end up having to do like a lap completely on my own where I'm just kind of like dawdling a little bit. So I think obviously it's hard when you have like a degree of fatigue to just hold or maintain a higher wattage so i'm not kind of beating myself up about it what i did really enjoy was these little kicks now just going up these uh little kickers 
And this is, I think, where I pick up the sprint jersey. I think that might have just been kind of like there. You can just see that I've got the sprint jersey now on the right. If you look at my little name, I got that little green shirt next to me, which I don't, I don't know how that happened. I think it was just like moving through the group at the right time, putting the effort in at the right time. I did not do it intentionally. It's just one of those things that, that kind of ended up happening. At the moment, I think there's, you know, out of the 100 person field, it's about 50 50 split. You've got 50 people in the front group and then kind of like 50 people. Uh, well, I don't want to say like in the chase group. Uh, there was a chase group, but I don't think it is quite, you know, 50 50. So I'm, I kind of balls that up. You get 50 people up front or kind of 45. And then the chase groups are just made up of, of like 20 riders here, 20 riders there. So you can kind of see how this race is splitting up. And every time we do the Clyde Kickers, uh, or the or the reverse of it we kind of drop a few riders and ultimately kind of that is going to be me on the next lap and that's the nice thing about obviously the Glasgow crit course is just the variation in terrain the fact that they're short and sharp and punchy it just makes it such a tough race because you're always kind of like up out of the saddle trying to like trying to kind of put your kick in and then also trying to steady yourself and recover for the next lap and when you got to do it again so this is the third time doing it and i will say that i actually after this um after this lap or at the end of this lap i get dropped off and then i'm going to cut to the last lap i don't often kind of cut away to a finish but you don't need to see me kind of dawdling around for two loops uh, on my own ish so again like I'm just struggling tonight. I don't know what it, well, I do know what it was, but like that level of fatigue is probably just a bit too much for me. My heart rate only like maxes out at 167. So it's not like I wasn't trying. I just couldn't, I couldn't get myself up there. I couldn't, didn't have the ability to like push my body kind of where it like needed to go, if anything. And just the fact that I'm kind of falling off the group as we are coming through these kickers was a bit of a testament to how I'm struggling. And I think on this one, I probably kicked a little bit too hard to try and get back onto the group. And then I obviously pay uh, pay the price for that a, like a little bit later. But all is kind of going well as we're bowling back down uh, into the Glasgow Central so we can do the back side of the loop and come over the, the start finish. Uh, where am I going? What am I going to do? What is the goal with Zwift Racing at the moment as we come into spring, summer? It's definitely something I want to keep on doing. Like I will religiously try and make a Monday and or Tuesday primetime race. Um, I've, I've kind of like motivationally, I had a bit of a period where I was just dwindling a little bit um, and it's hard to like keep yourself motivated like every day the whole time. And I think that's probably why some of these videos have kind of be become a little bit sporadic. Um, just trying to find my feet again, A, with, with cycling. Um, I still absolutely love it. I just don't want to lose the love for it by ha you know being in that position where like if I do something, I have to share it on, on YouTube or social media. Like That's not really kind of where I want to be. But I do absolutely love it. And, and a lot of times I'm kind of diving into races and just not, not recording them. But I need to get back into the routine of doing races because ultimately I think in terms of like my ultimate performance I've dropped off just like slightly and now having had like a chance to recover in a few kind of slightly easier weeks you know now's probably the good time if I take this as my base to build on that and trying to come into like spring summer um, and just kind of take it up another notch to in terms of performance just try and take it like above and beyond where I am uh, at the moment that would kind of be the goal and if I was to do that then Ultimately, I'd be looking at races like this that are like 30 minutes and I should really be putting in over four watts per kg. I should be capable of that. Um, if I was doing it kind of semi-fresh or at least, you know, not having done a, a session beforehand, you know, that's kind of what my goal is going to be, is coming into these swift races or certainly kind of any kind of event and, and putting in you know, just watts that I haven't really been able to hold before because Ultimately, I just want to keep improving, keep kind of taking the next step in, in my cycle journey. But at the moment, I'm just finding it like a little bit harder. Um, I think now that it's a little bit warmer and brighter on the weekends, getting in the longer rides on the weekends, that's definitely going to, I'm hoping, help a little bit with performance. So diving back to focus on the race, we have maybe 18 riders in our little chase group. So... I think top position would probably be around 
40 uh, third, 42nd, um, and then we kind of move all the way back to maybe maybe 60th. So we've got a, like a really good group, and I picked these guys up on the last lap, and we are coming into the final sprint. I managed to save a feather for this sprint. I'm not sure how kind of useful it is, but uh, you know, in some senses, it has to have a little bit of use. Um, it's a hard one because you come around two corners as you come into the sprint. So it's kind of like a blind sprint. You are sprinting effectively before you see the finish. I put in actually a reasonable dig here and just managed to hold it and kind of hold off as we cross the finish line. Look, there's me in my green jersey. Anyway, guys, I am really enjoying it. I still really enjoy it. I just haven't shared, shared as much as I usually do. We're going to get back into it. Um, I do love it. So I'll see you guys in another race soon.